My old camera was starting to get a little unreliable, sending out corrupt JPEGs to the CF card every once in a while, so I decided that my dear old D70 has had a good life, but it's time to move on. Let's see if digital photography has advanced at all since the early 2004. This guy looks pretty good, but a lot of review sites have been mentioning that uh, dust on the sensor is a pretty major issue with this camera, so I thought I'll have to test this for myself. So I ran out and picked up a D600, took it home, removed the body cap, and attached my 50mm 1.8D lens. So this very professional looking setup should do the trick. I pointed my camera at a white piece of paper, shone some lights on it. I set up a time lapse sequence for 500 shots at f16. I'm going to adjust the curves and play with sharpening to make this look as bad as I possibly can. After 500 shots, I decided to stop and take a look at what I had. Yep, dust spots. Let's do another run of 500 shots, this time at f22. Here's what it looks like without the curves and sharpening. So, what did I learn from watching all this? Well, CFL bulbs flicker a lot. But more importantly, yes, dust on the D600 sensor is an issue, and it is internal. Remember, I haven't changed lenses at all. All this dust is coming from inside the camera already. So, where is this dust coming from? Luckily, I typically shoot in the dark with my aperture wide open, so it's not a huge issue for me, but still it's frustrating because when you're spending this much on a camera, you have certain expectations, and uh, this much dust isn't one of them. My nine-year-old D70 doesn't have this much on it, and it doesn't even have the built-in cleaning.